Yo, it's been a very interesting day. I look at the news, I go on ESPN, I check my phone, it says JJ Redick is the new Lakers coach. And I was like, that means that Shams was right. We were cooking Shams because he had a crush on that old girl. Was it Kay Adams? Forgot her name. And since he has a crush on her, maybe his he got distracted from his duties. And then the Woj came with the Woj bomb saying Dan Hurley's the guy. But at the end of the day, it was always J.J. Redick. J.J. Redick being the Lakers head coach is something I never would have thought would happen. Just to jump from never head coach to the Lakers head coach. That is an extreme jump. That is an extreme risk. But they say, hey, risk, you got to take risks to get rich. So J.J. Redick, they think he's the next Pat Riley, um, next Eric Spolstra, next Steve Kerr. He needs to be because the Lakers job is easily, and I've said this in many shorts, the hardest job you can possibly get. It is not fun to be the Lakers head coach because you are the easiest scapegoat possible. I don't know what he said in those interviews, but he's a brilliant mind. But can you control all of the egos in that organization? You have to control that. The Lakers have, you know, LeBron, obviously, Anthony Davis. And, you know, they could say, well, you know, they, they respect they respect J.J. Redick, which is important. They didn't respect Darvin Ham. But at the same time, you kind of want to think... A guy with some experience would probably be the best way to do this. But if you're the Lakers, you're hiring J.J. Redick. This can't be because, oh, you know, we want to win a championship. To be honest, that's not happening. The, re the expectation should not be winning a championship. The expectation should be building for the future, building a competent team, getting some young players that are good at basketball, that have promise, and get them on this roster and build with LeBron Lee. Because LeBron not going to carry the Lakers to a championship anymore. This ain't 2018. It's 2024, 2025 season. So th this to me can either go one or two ways. This could be outstanding. This could be one of those things where it's like, man, this is a Steve Kerr. This is an Eric Spolstra. Or could this be a, a complete bust? If, it, if, it, if it's successful, then congratulations to JJ Redick. Hopefully you end up being one of the best coaches in the history of the Lakers, man. Like, But being the Lakers head coach, that is, you can definitely be Steve Nash in this situation. What do you guys think about that? If you're a Lakers fan, please comment down below and tell me, what do you think about J.J. Redick being your head coach? I even heard Rajon Rondo is going to be uh, maybe one of the assistant coaches. That's interesting. We'll see, man. I, I mean, I'm excited to see how this works. But if you go on Twitter and they start losing some games, you're going to go on Twitter, you're going to see some stuff. And J.J., and maybe you got the personality, maybe you got the mentality for it, but a lot of people do not. Next up, I, I looked, there was a trade that happened today. Uh, between the Chicago Bulls and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And it's one of those trades where I look at it and I'm like, I see why the Eastern Conference is so terrible. Because the front offices in the Eastern Conference are just strictly some of the worst I've ever seen. But their incompetence has to be studied. It got to be something that's not only studied, it needs to be regulated. Because that's not, that's not compliant. That's out of compliance. You're out of compliance. There's no way that you think, okay, I'm going to trade Alex Caruso, really great role player, on a budget contract for Josh Giddy, a guy that they literally couldn't play in their second round matchup. That's and and I'm thinking like what is the what's what's the reward for you if you're the Bulls? Like what do you what are you trying to get from that? And I, I there's there's nothing to get from that. But if you're the Thunder, you just got significantly better. You add Alex Caruso to this freaking Thunder Maverick series, I think the Thunder win. I think the Thunder make it to the they might make it to the finals if they had Alex Caruso in this postseason. So I'm like, what did you give up? Josh Giddy? You look at all these Detroit Pistons just fired their coach who, you know, Monty Williams, like, you know, it didn't work. But at the same time, dang, they fired their coach after one year. This man took his team to an NBA Finals a couple years prior, and he, he can't do nothing on the Pistons. Like, the Pistons, the Wizards, the Bulls, all of these teams, the Hawks, they just straight buns. And I'm just like, why ain't nobody, there's no other Miami Heat level of competent front offices boston celtics like only three or four teams with competent uh, front offices out of the 15 in that conference that's ridiculous the west has a bunch of teams that build well and they're, and they're small market teams the minnesota timberwolves oklahoma city thunder the denver nuggets not huge market teams but they build their teams really well sacramento kings but you go to the east bro there's it's, it's just incompetence complete incompetence to the point it needs to be studied and it needs to be regulated the league needs to veto that trade because that's ridiculous you're just giving up stuff for no reason right you just give up things the teams like the wizards the nets the nets literally built this fi this finals that's traded for Ky that's traded Kyrie to the mavericks the nets did all them trades back in the day. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown came from it. And the Nets owing me stuff too. The Nets don't have they pick. They, they third pick go to me because of the trade that we did. So it's like, I don't understand it, but it's the East. So a hey, Boston, I think you making the finals next year. Maybe Milwaukee stop you, but I don't know. 
Boston look like they're going to be in the NBA Finals again. So let's see who's going to face them next year because the East is an absolute trash. That was my little takes NBA news for the day. Definitely want to do more of these if any hot breaking news come out. Also, for more content like this, make sure to like this video. Let's get this video to five likes. And I think you'll like this video right here. Video where I have AI do a re-simulation of the 2024 NBA playoff to see if the Boston Celtics actually deserve their championship or maybe things go differently. So check out that video. Show us some love. And comment down below what you think about what happened today. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.